everyone, Rachel here, and I've got a, another, I guess, geeky related video for you. I guess we're going to do a what's in my bag, um, but specifically what is in the bag I take when I go to a comic convention. Um, I've been very fortunate to be able to attend a lot of conventions and a lot of different places. Um, you know, I started going really when I was just a fan of things. Um, I find myself going to them way more often now because of doing the podcast. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and now this is not exactly what I always carry in my bag, but this is the, I guess, kind of the bare minimum that I will carry with me. It can depend on whether I'm cosplaying or not. Um, it depends on whether I'm going just as a fan or if I'm going um, specifically for the podcast. Um, but this is kind of just the bare minimum that I will walk out of the house with to go to a convention. First, let's start with the bag. Um, this is the bag that I use most often. and It is a backpack style bag. This is made by Tom's. Um, I love this because one, it is super light. I used to carry around a backpack and the backpack by itself, completely empty, was kind of heavy. And then when you start throwing stuff in it, um, I suffer from back and shoulder problems. So anything that does not weigh me down is always a good thing. Um, so I love how light this is. And then you know, the fact that it's fabric, I can put all sorts of geeky pins on it, things I've collected at various comic conventions. Um, and then it does have some really good large sized compartments and uh, they have pockets and it's padded, which is great if I decide to carry like my big DSLR camera. Um, so I know it's not going to get damaged, um, which is always a good thing. Uh, the straps are adjustable. Um, plus it's a nice bright color, this bright like turquoise color. Um, so it's not going to get lost easily. By being something like black or something. Um, so let's get into the things I carry. Um, obviously uh, one of the things that I always have with me is my camera but I'm filming on it so you can't see it. <laughs> Unfortunately I will, um, I don't know, yeah, I, will, I will insert footage of camera in the mirror or something here. Um, but it is a Canon, it's a little handheld. It used to be what a lot of the vloggers were using way back in the day. Um, uh, obviously camera technology has gotten a little better since then and I probably really need to upgrade um, to something that does a higher quality video um, and has more features. But uh, Chauncey got me that for my birthday four years ago, it was for my 30th birthday, <laughs> dating myself there. Um, and it, I just love how small and compact it is. So it's really easy to carry around um, and doesn't, I can easily stick it in one of the pockets in the bag or even stick it in my pants pockets or a jacket pocket if I'm wearing a pocket so I can get to it easily. Um, with that being said, along with the camera, I always carry a spare battery and a extra SD card because you just never know how much you're going to be filming. Um, I tr always, I think I have a 16 gigabyte memory card that I use most of the time, um, which for most conventions, that's more than enough. Um, but the battery, spare battery is always your best friend if you um, don't have access to a charger or anything like that. Sometimes I do carry the charger if I know um, I'm going to have a time or a spot where I can actually plug something into the wall. Um, sometimes I will carry my charger with me, but usually I just carry the spare battery. And that's usually enough. Um, and then I can recharge the batteries when I get home or to my hotel room in the evening. Um, speaking of electronics, my phone. Um, I have the iPhone 6S. Um, and this is the case I carry it in, um, which also doubles as my wallet. So that is one less thing I need to carry. So I have my driver's license and my debit card um, and then my insurance card um, in here too. So just in case something happens, I have to go to the ER or something. I have my health insurance information, which is great. I also carry a external battery for it as well. Um, this one I bought at Von Mar 
last year, I think, earlier this year, something like that. Um, and it's super slim. Uh, it's really cute because it's got like little eyes, little eyelashes on there. Um, and it just plugs into my phone. Um, and then it's got a little cable that I can plug it into anything USB and charge it. Um, but I use this quite often because <laughs> I use my phone quite a bit. Um, posting things on Instagram and social media, playing Pokemon Go maybe, if they've got Pokemon Go in the area. Um, so an external battery is another great thing to have. Um, I always try to carry around some of the uh, business cards for the podcast, even if I'm not at a convention officially covering it for the podcast. I always try to have some of our business cards with us because you never know who you're talking to and you'd be like, hey, I've got this podcast, and they'd be like, oh, tell me more. I'm like, hey, here's the card. Check out us on social media. Um, by the way, I always put all our social media stuff for the podcast in the description box. If you have not subscribed to us, please give us a listen and go like us on Facebook. Um, while my phone does double as my wallet, I also carry around a little change purse. This one is a Harry Potter Slytherin one I bought from Hot Topic, um, and it's just big enough for me to carry around. Um, a little bit of cash and any change, um, any small items I pick up, like stickers, that sort of thing. Um, so, and it, again, super light does not take up a lot of room. Uh, Kleenex, <laughs> always a good thing. You just never know, uh, especially when you're someone like me who has a lot of allergies. Some sort of painkiller. Um, my personal preferences leave, um, but whatever works for you, Tylenol, Advil, whatever. Um, but you never know, walking around all day, your feet hurt or something, always a good thing to have. Um, some sort of chapstick or lip balm is great. I love this rosebud salve, this Smith's rosebud salve I bought from uh, Sephora, I think. Um, and it's great for both my lips and my uh, cuticles because those get really dry um, when you're constantly washing your hands because you're touching people because of all the germs. Um, a little mirror, a little compact mirror, um, which is great for checking your makeup. Uh, whether you're cosplaying or not, you know, if you're going to be doing photos or selfies with your friends and, you know, you want to make sure you look good, don't have anything in your teeth after eating some of that food court food or some food trucks, that's always good to have. A ink pen, which is always great for writing down um, information, you know, if someone doesn't have business cards or you want to write something on, I want to write something on my business card before I give it to someone, pen's always great to have. Um, fingernail clippers, I am notorious for cracking and breaking fingernails, so I always try to have my fingernail clippers on me. Funny story with these fingernail clippers, because sometimes it may not be you that needs them, it may be someone else, like when I went to Lexington last year, and Colin Baker, the sixth doctor from Doctor Who, uh, I happened to walk up to his table just to say hi, and uh, he needed fingernail clippers, <laughs> so I let him use my fingernail clippers. That was very exciting, having my doctor uh, use my fingernail clippers, so he has touched these. It's awesome. Uh, tweezers. Um, Obviously, you know, plucking stray eyebrows, or in my case, because I'm hitting a certain age, just occasional chin hair, or, you know, maybe fixing something on a cosplay, or just anytime you need to get into something, uh, tweezers are always great. Um, a book or some, or magazine, some sort of entertainment, just because you may be waiting for a panel to start, you may be waiting in line for an autograph or something, um, and you don't necessarily... Um, have anyone to talk to or you just want to keep to yourself or maybe while you're eating um, a book. This happens to be the book I'm reading at the moment. Haha, <laughs> Six Doctor. Um, water. Water is great. Um, I have this water bottle that I've been using. This one's from Ikea. Um, it's great. It carries a decent amount of water so um, I'm not having to go to the water fountain too often. You always, always, always want to stay hydrated at conventions no matter what you're doing. Even if you forget to eat, you always want to drink water. Um, so this is always good to have. Occasionally I do carry snacks. I just don't have anything on me at the moment. I finished off my jumbo box of Rice Krispie Treats I bought at Costco. Uh, so I'm completely out of, out of those. Otherwise I'd be like, hey, Rice Krispie Treats, good example of a snack. 
Sorry about that, my camera cut off, but last but certainly not least, um, this is a new addition because I got this for Christmas, um, but this right here is the, um, the Rico Theta, I think, yeah, so Rico Theta M15, and what this is, is this is a 360 degree camera. Uh, Chauncey got me this for Christmas. Um, this one only does photos. He has one in his work that does photo and video. I have tried it. It's very cool. Um, but what this does is really simple. It's got just a little power button on the side. Um, and then it does have uh, Wi-Fi. Um, and you download the app on your phone. And you can download the images from the camera straight to your phone um, via this Wi-Fi connection. Which that's really cool, um, but um, I have been taking this to some of the conventions. It's a bit weird to use just because you know, if you want to get you know, the middle of the dealer's room or something, you're like standing there, like I've got the Olympic torch or something, and you're like, click, and it does a little beep letting you know it took the photo. Um, <laughs> so you, you do feel a little weird when you go take the photos, you can kind of keep it down here, but then, like, you know have a good chunk of the photo is going to be your face really because um, the way this works is it's got uh, two cameras I think essentially um, one on each side and each takes a 180 degree photo and then it stitches them together to get the 360 um, uh, but it's really cool it, it makes for some really interesting photos um, so uh, this is now part of my um, convention gear and it's got this little pouch, this little zippered pouch. It just sits in there nice and safe which is great. Um, but that is really it. Um, like I said uh, this is kind of the bare minimum that I will take with me to a convention. Um, it can change depending on what I'm doing. If I'm cosplaying sometimes I will take um, some part of the makeup with me. Um, so if I need to touch up my makeup uh, during the day. Um, if I'm going to go and like really cover the convention um, for the podcast, um, sometimes I will carry my big DSLR camera with me, um, which I've got the stock lens and then there's a telephoto lens that I will carry. Um, like I said earlier, the fact that this bag has got some decent amount of padding is great, um, especially considering that camera is heavy. Um, and then you include another lens. That's a lot of weight, so that bag being light, again, helpful. Um, if I'm doing interviews, I have a little portable recorder that I will take with me. Um, so those are additional things that I may have on me. Just depends on what my uh, kind of focus is at the convention. Um, but these are the things that I really, really, you know, make sure I have on me before I walk out of either the house or my hotel room. Um, to make sure that I have pretty much everything I need to at least enjoy and be able to get through the day at the convention. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments about uh, anything, um, please do not hesitate to you know comment in the comment section um, or tweet at me or that sort of thing. Um, if you've not already, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm really trying to get into making more content for this channel. Um, it's just been crazy with the last year or so with life and personal things and job things and it's just been really crazy. Um, <laughs> um, but I am trying to, you know, try to uh, create some more content for you guys. It's not just my random vlogs where I'm like, hey, I'm going to the grocery store. Or, hey, I'm going to go wash my car. Uh, that sort of thing. So if you have any suggestions for anything, you know, either uh, convention related or cosplay related, I've got a few ideas um, that hopefully I can get around to filming sooner rather than later. Uh, please let me know. Um, links to everything, my personal social media and the Facebook page um, are always in the description box along with the links and social medias for the podcast, the Five Ish Fang Girls podcast. Um, if you've not checked us out as far as the podcast goes and not subscribed to us, please go check us out. You can uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher. Um, we're also on YouTube. Um, again, the description uh, box has all the relevant content. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.